Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to learn how to draw the plan view for the radius elbow. You can use this for any size radius elbow. Um, this particular one is going to be a 3 and 2 pattern for the smaller radius bends up to about 6 inch, 8 inch even you could do. So it's totally up to you. Right, so we're going to use 89mm outside diameter pipe. We're going to use the different radiuses, the inside radius, the centre radius and the outside radius. And then we're going to measure to make sure that we're spot on. And add on the insulation, draw the extra radiuses in and divide the bend up ready for being a plan view for cutting the insulation. So right, let's get started. What do we need for this? We need a ruler, a marker pen, a set of dividers or a compass. Um, let's get started then. So first of all we need to construct a right angle, so let's get that done. So that's our right angle constructed. So we're going to be using imperial measurements, which are inches, and I'll also give you the millimetre equivalent. So first of all, our first one is going to be the inside radius, that's two and three quarters in inches and 70 mil in millimetres. So use either of those measurements and just scratch in your inside radius like that. And label that two and three quarter inch inside radius or 70 mil. Next we go into our centre radius which is four and a half inches or 114 mil. So use either of those and just scratch in your centre radius. And label that four and a half inch or one one four mil. And finally, through the construction of the pipe, we have six and three eighths or a hundred and sixty mil. You see those measurements, open your dividers up, place on your right angle and scratch in your outside radius and label that six and three eighths or 160 mil. So that's our representation of the pipe. Obviously the right angle represents the weld. So you have two and three quarter inside radius, a four and a half, four and a half centre radius or a six and three eighth outside radius. You can use any one of these radiuses, open your dividers up, put the diameter in here, either from the centre, from just any of these radiuses you can do that from. Right, so let's just check our diameter of our pipe. So that's going to go from here to here and it should measure 89 mil or three and a half inches. And we're absolutely bang on there, 89 mil. And absolutely bang on three and a half inches so we know that's a good representation of our pipe so that's 89 mil outside diameter pipe absolutely spot on so the next thing we need to do is add on our insulation which was an inch so we'll add on an inch or 25 mil to either side And our inside radius will have gone to inch and three quarter or 45 mil. So open your dividers up to inch and three quarter or 45 mil. And just scratch in your inside radius. 
the outside radius will have changed to 7 and 3 eighths or 184 mil. So just scratch the outside radius in. All we need to do now is finish drawing on our pipe. So let's get that done. We're using four and a half inch or one one four mil. So just draw that in to finish your pipe off. You can use all your lines or just the outside. It's totally up to you. Again on the bottom, finish drawing in your pipe. I'm just going to how light the outside radius is of the pipe. So that's our outside insulation wall. And our inside insulated wall. So all we need to do now is just divide the pipe up. So what we do is take our dividers, place them just there. Open them up to just over halfway, scratch an arcing like that, and the same from the other side, scratch an arcing like that. Then from this point here, through your centre radius, draw a line in. Is 45 degrees. Now what we need to do is open our dividers up again, place them just there, open them up just over halfway, scratch an arcing, same again just here, same again just here, and again from there. And draw a line through to your centre radius. Same again up here. That's 22.5 degrees. And that's 22.5 degrees. So that's our pattern divided up into four. One, two, three, four. All that's left to do now is divide the first segment up into two. That will give us our start and finisher. So just place your dividers there, open up just over halfway. Put an arc in. Get over to there, put an arc in. And draw a line from this point through to your centre radius. So that's our plan view developed. If you take your tape measure, measure from the bottom to this point here, that will give you the outside of your starter. And if you take it from the bottom, 
and measure up to this point here that will give you the inside of your starter draw in the two lines cut across them and that will give you the starter and if you cut it and place it on there it will fit perfectly to this line here and your segments you measure from this point here to this point here to give you the outside of your cut and from this point here to this point here for your inside of your cut and again if you cut that off place it on there as I did in the first video you'll see that it fits perfectly between these lines and you want three segments a starter and a finisher and that will construct your bend well I hope you found this extremely useful this is uh, a good way of developing your skills for cutting bends perfectly and it also helps you with your pattern development thank you very much for watching my video please remember to like share and subscribe and until next time thank you and goodbye